biggest problem I have with Planned Parenthood is the abortion situation. I mean, it's like an abortion factory, frankly, and, and you can't have it, and you just shouldn't be funding it, and that should not be funded by the government, and I feel strongly about that. And that's my biggest problem with Planned Parenthood, because it really, if you look at it and you look at the work they do, it really has become so heavily centered on abortion, and you can't have that. All right, folks, welcome to Give Me Five. Um, Donald Trump this morning on CNN. I watched the whole interview. It was, a, it was at least 30 minutes. It went on and on and on and on. And they badgered him. I mean, Chris Cuomo wanted specifics on every issue under the sun. And if he didn't have the specifics Chris Cuomo wanted, well, you know, you're running for president. Which candidate at this point has given such in-depth, specific policy analysis on every issue? Trump held his own nicely. He answered the questions nicely. Uh, but for instance, I, you know, I, I, I'll negotiate with someone. How are you going to do it? What are you going to say? What if they say no? It's like, what are you, crazy? They're, doing, they're, they're treating him differently than every other candidate. Okay? That is absolutely clear. Differently. He's like fair game. He's wide open. And they'll never do that to Hillary. Never in a million years. Now, I once again need to offer Donald Trump free advice. First of all, he's talking about Planned Parenthood issue here. Uh, he, he said the abortion can't stand on, with Planned Parenthood. Then he said this. That's what I do. If the time came, I would look at the individual things that they do, and maybe some of the things are good, and maybe I know a lot of the things are bad, but certainly the abortion aspect of it should not be funded by government. Mark. Absolutely. Okay. So you don't fund the government aspect of Planned Parenthood. Then there's this. I would look at the good aspects of it, and I would also look, because I'm sure they do some things properly and good and, and good for women. And I would look at that. And I'd look at other aspects also. But we have to take care of women. We have to absolutely take care of women. The abortion aspect of Planned Parenthood should not, absolutely should not be funded. Okay. Agree. Agree. Good job. Then we get to abortion. And I, he said this to Dana Bash. I was speaking to Roger Stone, who was here yesterday off the air, and Roger Stone agrees with me that this, someone's got to knock on Donald Trump's door and, 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 and tell him what I'm telling you, what, what I'm telling him, I'm doing him a favor here. Listen to the abortion part. I am for the exceptions. You have the three exceptions. I'm for the exceptions. And the health of the mother and the life of the mother, I, I absolutely am for the exceptions. You can't be for an exception for the health of the mother, Donald. I'm pleading with you, stop saying it. Because life of the mother is one thing. And his other exemptions are rape and incest, which differs from Marco Rubio. And in all fairness and honesty, if you believe that baby is a baby, why should rape and incest say, okay, we'll kill the baby for that? I mean, if you're going to be consistent, you've got to be consistent. But I'm not criticizing Trump on that. He's making a mistake, and I'm just pleading with him to stop. Health of the mother is, whatever, is what Debbie Wasserman Schultz would say. It's what Hillary Clinton would say. It's what Barack Obama would say, because it renders any pro-life bill or anti-abortion bill, it renders it useless, meaningless, moot. And I don't think Donald understands this. And I'm begging somebody to knock on his door and say, stop saying health of the mother, which could mean I get headaches, give her the abortion. I get uh, stomach aches, give her the abortion. I'm under a lot of pressure, give her the abortion. It's widely interpreted. You can't include health. Life is one thing, you can't include health of the mother or forget the bill, forget the restrictions, there are none. One more. When do you believe that the unborn is a person and deserves the rights? Well, I certainly think as the process goes along more and more, and a lot of people are talking about the 20 weeks and certainly there, but uh, absolutely as the process goes along. But, but I am a person that feels very, very strongly about, uh, you know, I'm pro-life and I'm strongly about pro-life, but I also feel that you, you go with the exceptions. Okay, the exceptions. You have to change the exceptions or exemptions, whatever you want to call them. Please, Donald, if you're listening, or someone, knock on the door and say, lose the health talk or it's going to hurt him. Thanks for watching.